Hey everyone, I'm Kaja Morche and welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be talking about how I feel about graduating and moving on into adulthood and giving some advice for the upcoming seniors of high school. So let's get into the video. Um, so my friend I said my freshman year. <laughs> my senior year was pretty hectic and crazy. I was a cheerleader. I had an internship through Urban Alliance at Vox Media, where I am now. And I love this job. <laughs> but it was like very hard for time management because I had to go to school and I got out of school at two o'clock every day then I will run to work and then run back from work to go back to school to chair the game or for practice and things like that. And then when I get home, it's like nine, ten o'clock and then I have homework and I have to eat. So I barely got any sleep. And as a senior, it's so much you have to do, especially if you're like going to college and things like that. You have to Really, no one's really going to hold your hand in the process, especially if you're a first generational college student. You have to apply to the schools, make sure you apply for FAFSA, financial aid, any scholarships, things like that. And it's stressful because when you're the first one to do it, you don't have anyone to like guide you through it. So I was pretty stressed with that as well. And like you have to turn in stuff to the school like now, after getting accepted and after like doing my enrollment and things like that, I know the school is like really expensive. Even before you start, it's very expensive. Like you have to do a deposit for tuition. You have to do a deposit for residence. You have to do a deposit for orientation. And that was the highest out of all three of those. And that was like altogether like $600. So that was a lot. And you still have to pay for tuition altogether, room and board, your books, stuff like that. So my advice was to apply for scholarships as many as you can and do any type of financial aid you can. Just like go and chase after the money because you're gonna end up in debt. <laughs> But I'm excited that I'm out of high school and I'm living, or I'm going to be living on my own without my parents and my family all the time. But it's going to be hard at times because I can't rely on them for certain things. I have to rely on myself and be independent. But from orientation, I actually had fun. Even though it was four days, I still got to live on my own and I didn't have anyone telling me when to go to bed or when to be in the house and things like that. It was just like, I was free and I got to meet people and be around different people from all over. And it was just like a different vibe. You have to get used to it because when I was there, I felt like I didn't never know the time or like the date. I kind of was just there. So it's different from when you're home. When you're home, you always know the date and the time. I don't know, it's weird. <laughs> it's weird, but yeah, I think college would be fun. I'm excited about just being independent and living on my own. I'm kind of nervous about the schoolwork because I don't know how college is. It's my first time, so I don't know if it's like I have to write a 20-page essay on the first day. I don't know. I don't know what to expect, really. It's just that I'm just going in. I don't know. I'm, I'm afraid that I might run out of food. I'm really, I'm really afraid of that. I might run out of food, like meal plans. I like Chick-fil-A a lot, so I think I'm always be broke because I'm gonna go to Chick-fil-A every day. I don't know, it's gonna be hard for me to just not spend money all the time because I like to keep my hair done and my nails done, and stuff like that, so I'm gonna always be broke because I don't know what I'm gonna do, honestly. I'm just gonna roll with the punches because that's hard. <laughs> I could find a job or something that I don't really have to work or something because I don't really want to work in college. I just want the money. Maybe like a library or something. Just sit at the library, help with people finding books and things like that. I would say, if you go to a school that wears uniform, please still shop because you're going to you're going to school. And if you're very 
fashion person like me, it's hard because I like to shop and my mom is like, you're not taking all this stuff with you to college. There's not that much space in there. And I'm like, well, I have to wear clothes every day. Like, what am I gonna do? I can't wear the same thing over and over again. I have to go out shopping, get new clothes and bring the clothes I already have, all my shoes. And she's like, Y'all is gonna get put out because I'm rooming with my best friend as well. So us two together might be hectic as well. That's another thing I'm scared about because a lot of people say when you room with your best friend, you never, you don't really know them until you live with them, and you might hate each other after the fact. But I don't think that would be it because we're like inseparable. Like we've been friends since third grade. I don't think that happened, but who knows? Hopefully it doesn't. I feel like it's gonna be hard to meet friends because I don't like going up to people and talking to them. I'd rather them come up to me and talk to me because people are mean. And when I go up to them, when I go up to them and talk to them, they act so nonchalant and like they don't wanna to talk to me, so I don't I don't talk to people. But I hope I'm not like I don't look mean because I'm not mean, but like I guess I have a natural mean mug sometimes, so it makes me look like I'm mean but I'm not. So I hope that goes well. But yeah, for your senior year, I would say focus on, if you're going to school, focus on financial aid and getting into the schools and making sure you have high enough grades. Also consider when, you picking your, when you're picking your um, schools, also consider like where the school is located, how much it's gonna cost, if it's a public or private school, is it an HBCU or a PWI, if it is easy for you to get back home or would it cost a lot for you to travel back home and also like how much it costs to live in the state altogether because some states don't have taxes and some do so stuff is more expensive in certain areas in certain states so i would say consider everything like that and i chose morgan state because it's not far it's 45 minutes away. It's great in the major I want to study. Um, I know many people that's going there. It's, it'll be easy for me to travel back home when I want to, whenever I want to. And I could just get on the MARC train before like, I start driving. And it'll only be like $8 to just go back home. So instead of playing for plane ticket I could just go home but another reason why I put I didn't want to go far because I get motion sickness so I can't be in a car long because I would throw up <laughs> but um, yeah so that's why I chose Morgan State and so far I love my decision they're so great and I just hope I have a great experience there um, always be optimistic. Do not get frustrated, although you will. Just try not to focus on the negatives, like when you do a scholarship, things like that. Don't, don't like dwell on it like, oh, what if I don't get it, things like that. Always think positive. You have to speak things into existence because when you do that, it comes true. So do that. Um, when you're in high school, don't really focus on relationships or like friends for that much or like any of the drama things because you're about to leave it's really unlikely for you to keep in touch with those people for like the next four years of your college life it's, you're going to meet so many new people so don't dwell on being friends with people or like trying to keep your boyfriend or girlfriend and work that out because you're going to meet so many new people if you don't go to college have a plan. Don't just go home and sleep on the couch or in your room because your mom's gonna be upset. You have to go get a job or something, please. <laughs> I'm just saying. Try to pick up a trade or go into the workforce. Think about going to the military or the Navy, Army, things like that. Just anything your heart desires, go for it. Don't stop. Don't do things because like I would say, don't shoot down college because of high school. Even though you might not like like doing work at high school, it's different in college, way different. You don't have to, they're not on your back as much in college. 
you're pretty much do what you want. You're living on your own. So I would say don't knock it until you try it. But if you don't want to try it, at least like try a trade or go into the workforce. I think that's all I have to say. Thank you for listening to my rant about school, high school and college, and how I feel about all of it. And subscribe to my channel and more videos are to come because I'm out of high school, finally. And I'll have more time in my hands in college to upload more. So, bye.